I'm in a line, like I know where the stoplight is, and it is like way up there, and I'm in line way back here. <sighs> Is always like giving me this like this structure and this routine that I think I've never really had before. I uh, I've never worked a nine to five. I came out of high school and started a copy company. Before after that was done and before I knew I wanted to be a photographer, I worked at a church. Uh, I never really had like a wake up at this time and go do this thing and yeah every single day. And seriously, for like two months, it's like six a.m. My alarm goes off. I'm out of bed because it's always like. <laughs> Like in my face, and, uh, and we go to the we go to the park. She she pees, she poos. Uh, I make coffee first, and then we go to the park. She pees, she poos. I usually come back and make oatmeal. Uh, but today, today I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time. So since we moved, we moved uh, pretty recently. We moved from PB Pacific Beach, where we lived like two blocks off the beach, to San Leo Hills, which is like 40 minutes north but like 15 minutes from the beach, which means now we have to drive to the beach, which means that I have not gone surfing hardly at all. Uh, so today I'm gonna go surf, which I'm pretty stoked on, uh, but something came yesterday that I'm super stoked on, uh, even though it's not mine, it's not for me, it's for someone else. One of the things that I get asked most from people is what kind of camera should I buy? Um, and and I hope in the future on this channel to do like camera reviews and gear reviews. Uh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, today this is a camera for someone else. This is for my father-in-law, uh, who's a falconer. So what he needed was a camera that could like, that could zoom in really far. Like his birds fly around, he's like really long lenses. Uh, before he had like a Nikon D200, big DSLR, bunch of lenses to carry around and worry about and deal with, and he had this huge bag and everything. Uh, so he gave that to me. I sold all of those on eBay for him to buy this camera, and he still made money, and this camera does way more than that stuff. Oh, this is the Sony RX10 Mark III. Oh, it's not it's not mine, but I'm, I'm gonna go play with it first. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't ever want to do unboxing videos. That's that's not something I want to do. I want to do, oh wow. I want to do like review videos. Like I want to go take something, go do something, go on an adventure, uh, and then after a good amount of usage, come tell you what I think about it. Oh, I already think so much of this. Um, okay, the cool thing is that this takes the same battery that my A7R takes, so I've got those charged already and I can go play. Wow. Uh, what this camera is, is like, it's more than a point and shoot. So it's more than like something you would just throw in your pocket, but it's, gosh, it's hard. Cause I would say it's less than a DSLR or like a mirrorless, like interchangeable lens system. But it's kind of not, cause watch this, ready? Look at that. Okay, it's called a compact super zoom. Is what is what it. Okay, if you can't see this, this thing goes from 24 millimeters to 600 millimeters. That is, that is ridiculous that that's in one lens. And it's optical, it's all optical zoom. So it's not like it's, uh, it's not using like, Digital zoom, which you'll see like like on your phone, like your phone has digital zoom. So like when you like pinch in and you zoom, you're, it's like digital. It's take you could take a say, the same picture and then crop it later, and it's the same thing. Oh, uh, take the lens cap off, huh? Zoe, you could use it as a portrait lens, I guess, but it's really not for that. This is like a this is like an all around camera that you're like, hey, I'm gonna go travel. Uh, I want to take cool wide shots because 24 is pretty wide and I also want to be able to like zoom way over there across the damn city 
and take a picture of the, the tower over there. Um, wow, I'm like super impressed. Even at 24 though, the lens doesn't go all the way in. See if you can see this is like 24 millimeters and 600 millimeters. So it never goes, like if you're walking around with this thing, like this is the smallest it gets right there. Which is probably like having, probably like, okay. Um, by the way, so far this backpack is awesome. Uh, here is my Sony A7R2 with a 35 millimeter 1.4 lens. And here is, oh yeah, that's like the same. Sony RX10 Mark III, Sony A7R2 with a 35 millimeter lens. Check that out. It's like almost identical. Let's see. The grip on this thing is huge. It's a really big, like beefy grip. I like this better. But I got one lens. This is 35 millimeters. This thing is like, it, it's equivalent of having like a, a 24, a 35, a 50, a 24 to 70, a 70 to 200, a 100 to 400, a 5 and a 600, all in one camera. That's crazy. As part of my commission for selling off all of my father-in-law's gear and getting him this camera, uh, I, I'm gonna go play with it a little bit at the beach and I, gosh, I sure hope I don't break it. I'm finally on my way, holy cow. Morgan and I have actually been talking about this a lot lately, that, uh, that we live so far from the beach. And I know that that sounds ridiculous when I say we live 15 minutes from the beach and that that's so far. Um, but we used to live at the beach, two blocks off the water, maybe two and a half, depends how you count them. And gosh, was that easy. Like in the morning, if I wanted to go surfing, I would just grab my board, put on my wetsuit, and I'd walk down to the water. Now, I wanna go surfing, I gotta like fill up my little portable shower, I gotta put my board in the car, I gotta put, get my wetsuit, I gotta bring it. Oh, the, uh, I always forget a towel, and I remembered a towel today. Yes. Oh my gosh, I finally got to the beach. Woo! Total drive time of 27 minutes. That sucks. I can remember back in the day when I first started surfing, and I maybe was like, I don't know, one, two years in. I thought I was so cool, and I thought people that rode soft top boards were so lame, and so they weren't surfers, they're not real surfers. Let me tell you, this is a $100 board from Costco, and it's so sweet. This is new. The fins have always been black, but now they're green. Uh, a little pro tip for the wave storm, this leash sucks. So if you go buy a $100 surfboard like this, which is totally worth it, you gotta buy like a $30 leash, because the leash really changes the experience of surfing out there. When your leash gets tangled, stuff like that, oh man, it sucks. These things have little like grooves in them for so you can use like a quarter. Don't use a quarter, use a drill. Last thing that I like to do to these things is put a GoPro mount on them on the front. Cause you know, it's like a weird process of how to do this, but you take a screwdriver and you stab it through the board to make the hole.
one thing I didn't test out earlier before surfing with the uh, with the Sony RX10 that I want to go test out now, and that is the uh, the video mode. I want to see what video on that thing looks like at 4K at 600 millimeters. Hey, I haven't found anybody that's like actually really catching a good wave, but uh, you'll get the idea to see the zoom. The zoom is just crazy on this thing. I'm I'm gonna borrow this camera from Gary for sure. I'm gonna do that. Oh, here we go. And zoom in. Yes. <laughs> and zoom way the hell back out. Wow! That is crazy! I wish I knew that guy because I just got a really cool clip of him uh, surfing, but I don't know him, so. I could see using this camera for traveling. I can see like if you were, like if you went to Europe or even, I don't know, traveling in general, like that's not that big of a camera. It takes up one of the spots in the backpack. It's not that big of a camera, but it has like a huge range. Oh, I almost just dropped my camera. I almost just fell off. Uh, yeah, anyways, I would say this camera or the RX100 Mark V is the best camera to uh, put in your backpack right now. All right, uh, back to the office. I've got like a few hours of work to do. The marine layer has not burned off yet and it is, oh, it's almost 11, wow. Yeah, usually the marine layer burns off by now and it's nice and sunny, but not today. Today it's a crummy, cloudy day. Oh, oh I thought I parked close.